welcome back. I am doing a video today about stage four cancer in relation to my own journey and maybe give you some advice that could really help. When I was first diagnosed, I was sent to a thoracic surgeon because that's where my cancer had metastasized. And he said to me that your chance of survival is exactly the same whether you get surgery to remove those mets or you don't. He also said that quality of life would be quite difficult after surgery. He said that there's a lot of pain and recovery involved and that there would be nerve damage and that, you know, is it really worth it considering the quality of life after having the surgery? So my initial thought was, okay, I don't really want to go through a lot more treatment. I had a lot of treatment already, you know, the radio, the chemo, surgery to create the colostomy bag, etc. So I just thought, right, okay, if the chance of survival is exactly the same, I'm going to just leave it and leave it up to fate, I guess. So I went back to my oncologist and my stoma nurse and they said to me, hmm, we can't give you advice because it is your body and we're not allowed to, but if someone was to ask us whether they need to get the surgery, we would say, just go and do it. So I said, okay, fine. If that's, if that's what you're advising, then that's great. Poppy's moving around. Um, so yeah, I went ahead with the surgery. Now here I am six or seven years later and I have survived stage four cancer. I've been signed off from oncology. I 100% know that if I had not had that surgery, got those mets removed, I wouldn't be here now. That is such a surreal, mind-blowing concept. You know, I feel blessed and lucky. I feel, like I said, it feels surreal that I'm still here. And I know that so many people who have taken advice of doctors and been told the risk is exactly the same, the statistics say that you'll survive or not survive in exactly the same way if you have the surgery or not. That didn't make sense, you know what I mean? I know that there's people out there that have potentially lost their life to cancer because they were told things are the same. Now, I know I'm in a very small percentage, okay? It's 12% of people with rectal cancer, 11% of people with colorectal cancer will survive past the five year stage four mark and hopefully long into the future. But I mean, how do they know that for sure? First of all, because if they're advising patients that the quality of life is gonna be difficult if you get the surgery, you might as well not have it. You know, the survival rate could be much higher. So I guess what I'm saying to you really is just do it, just do what you have to do, do what feels right to you, get the surgery if that's what feels right. Yes, it was a recovery process, it was difficult, you know, losing half your lung, I was breathless for a while, I don't feel any different anymore. I have got quite a numb patch, maybe that much on the side of my uh, chest area. What's that bit called? There! Bit there i can't feel it basically the the nerves were cut they were severed and so it's still numb you know what who cares i'm still here i'm still alive and i'm fighting fit and that hopefully will be you if you take my advice and do what feels right to you i can't medically advise you to get surgery i'm not you know i'm not qualified to do that but I guess what I'm saying is go with your instinct, do what feels right. If you feel like you need to get them out of your body, then just do it because you never know. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you will be in a position where you will survive. You've had that surgery, you've got rid of that disgusting thing in your body and you will survive. So please do everything you can and hopefully you will join me on my journey of recovery and I just want to say thank you for watching um, if you want to subscribe to me that would be amazing because I think the more subscribers I've got then the more people I can reach and give some hope because now I know that I offer that hope I've had a long and arduous journey with cancer at a young age and now I can offer hope that 
things can get better and things can turn around and you can survive. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. You're a wonderful, beautiful person who deserves to live and live life to the best. Okay, bye-bye, toodaloo.